Hey everybody, this is Lucas with N4BB.com. Yesterday I uh, put up a guideline of uh, all the different swipe gestures available in the BlackBerry 10 uh, user interface. Uh, many of you had some questions about some of them, so I actually wanted to do a little how-to so you can see uh, how some of the swipe gestures uh, work. So we'll start out just going down through the list. Um, so the very first one was to wake up the device. So you just swipe up from the bottom and there you go, wakes up the device. Um, and so say like you are already in a, because uh, I don't think it works in here, oh okay it does. So nowhere, no matter where you are, um, you can swipe from the bottom bezel and it minimizes everything. Let's do it. Why does that work? There we go. And right over here it would list all of your different notifications that you had um, versus the, uh, showing them up, up here in the header bar. Um, so that's kind of cool. You just swipe from the bottom and it lists them right there. And it's pretty much the same uh, or a similar swipe gesture for displaying your uh, universal inbox which is now called the Blackberry Hub. So what you do is you just swipe up from the bottom and then kind of go to the right. And that's where it lists the Blackberry Hub. So you can control that then. And then just let go and it, it brings it right back. And then when you're actually in an application, so for instance, when we're in the browser, uh, obviously to minimize it, you just swipe up from the bottom. Why did I just do that? Well, all right, I'm going to show you another little trick. So when the keyboard's up, um, you can actually swipe from the bottom left corner and go to the right, like so, and, it, and that makes the, uh, the keyboard go away. But normally you would swipe from the bottom like that, than to uh, minimize an application. And I'll touch back on the keyboard. Uh, so actually, like let's say we're in BBM here, right? And there's a text field that you can enter. You can use two fingers to swipe up, and it brings up the keyboard. I don't know if we can saw it kind of work. There we go. So two finger swipe up gesture will, uh, will bring up the keyboard. But then, of course, uh, say you want to minimize it uh, one-handed. You know, you can just swipe from the bottom left corner like that. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, they brought over that same swipe gesture from uh, from Playbook. Uh, so the next one would be if you're in an application, you want to see the application menu. So for instance, when we're back in BBM, you just swipe from the top, and it shows the uh, the different available options for that app. And of course, when you're scrolling, you know that's pretty much uh, self-explanatory, but We'll go ahead and demonstrate it for you anyways. So when you're in the browser, obviously that scrolls <laughs> scrolls the device up or scrolls the page up. And there's also a, uh, a scroll between two items, which we thought maybe the browser would do that. You, know, you could swipe uh, between different pages, but that doesn't seem to be available right now. And I actually haven't found any other uh, application that offers that. Um, <clears throat> but that's likely uh, what that scroll between two items feature means. Uh, and apparently there's also uh, multi-touch uh, available in BlackBerry 10. So if there's multiple items you want to select, which we'll see if this works for here. Well, I guess it's not working. But um, yeah, say there's an, an item that allows for multi-touch, then you'll be able to select uh, multiple items at the same time. Um, and these applications also offer a peak feature. So for instance, we're right here and you swipe to the right, you can peek into your contact list. And it's a really a real easy way to get back into the main contact section. Or just say you're in the browser. I guess the browser's, browser's not working that way. But if you hold it down here in the corner, then you can peek for uh, those kind of things. So that's a really cool uh, feature, being able to um, quickly go back and forth through things like that. Uh, then of course there's the you know open and action menu which is just the three the three little dots here. You click on that, it opens up the uh, the, the action menu. Um, and this also allows then for um, um, just seeing other options that might not be available up here. Um, but of course then you've got your natural swipe gestures like zooming in. I'm not sure if this page supports it. But if you're on like an image, um, then that would support zooming in and zooming out. 
yeah, it doesn't look like our website supports that. But, like I said, if there was an image loaded here, you could certainly um, zoom in and out of that. Uh, then, of course, the other the other available UI gesture is to uh, move uh, icons around. So you simply just hold it down, wait till they kind of bubble up like that, and then you can just drag them wherever you want to put them. And you can create folders this way as well, where you can just drop it like that and it, it moves it over. Um, but I don't want that there, so let's move it back. Um, but yeah, so that's a pretty cool um, way of dragging and dropping and, and easily creating folders. Um, and the last swipe gesture that was available, that's available, is uh, being able to uh, progress through a file. Um, so pretty much, I don't think I have any music on here. But if if uh, if I had any songs in here, you could um, just swipe from left to right to be able to uh, quickly uh, advance throughout the song or video or you know whatever kind of file that is. Um, but yeah, so that's BlackBerry 10 swipe gestures. Uh, just a quick run through. Um, if you guys got any more questions, feel free to ask in the comments, as we'll see what we can uh, help you out with. Thanks for watching, guys.